my friends! In this episode I'm going to teach you how to use the Anki app to learn uh, a new language or anything you like actually uh, because it's uh, it's basically an app for um, for flashcards that you can use to learn it, basically anything uh, and then I'm going to uh, uh, show you how to write texts in Khmer using Khmer script I I searched everywhere on the internet for uh, instructions how to do this and uh, it's not very difficult actually but uh, it took me a while to to get the get the hang of it and uh, so I thought I'd uh, post a video about how you do that in case you don't know I'm wondering about it like I was uh, because it seems like uh, it's very difficult to find uh, anywhere on how you do it. And also I'd like to ask you a question. Do Khmer people um, write text in English or using the Khmer script? Uh, because well it might be <laughs> easy when you've been taught it uh, from childhood and uh, you know how to write and stuff but to me it seems much easier to to use the the Latin script of course. But um, so, if you have an answer to that, uh, I, my guess is that uh, a lot of young people use English uh, because then they, uh, maybe the older generation, you know, isn't as good at English as the young, so they, they can use it as a sort of a secret messaging system, you know, like, uh, whatever, you know, to, um, in case their parents see what they're writing, you know. They, <coughs> they can uh, you know get away with stuff um, that's my guess anyway so post your uh, answers below and that'd be really interesting to know um, and then after that I'm going to show you two TV series in Khmer that I really like so if you want to learn a language uh, my suggestion is that you should expose yourself as much as you can to that language and for me living in Sweden it's not very easy to expose myself to the Khmer language. Uh, we have a lot of Thai people here but um, so far I've not... Uh, I haven't really tried really but um, I haven't met anyone who is from Cambodia. But I'm sure they are. there are people in Stockholm but uh, not very easy to find a natural uh, platform to get to know people from Cambodia here. Uh, unless you are Cambodian, that, then I suppose you would be in that ethnic group sort of thing. Uh, Alright, so let's get started. Uh, I will start by showing you um, uh, the Anki app on my phone. Anki app you can download uh, to your computer or your, to your mobile phone. Uh, uh, or um, you can use it in a browser as well. So, uh, here we go. So let's get started. Um, so Anki app is is an app that you uh, can download and install on your uh, on your mobile phone or on uh, on your computer. So <laughs> very, you can store your uh, uh, decks online. So you can use them, uh, get to them using your uh, your browser. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you uh, first start the app. Uh, well, not exactly like this, but it will be empty. So uh, you can start off by uh, creating a new deck. Uh, so you have to learn a lot of words, a lot of new words. So you'd create a new deck, uh, and um, once you have uh, created a new deck, you enter cards. And uh, I can just quickly show you. For example, I have one here called uh, Khmer Words. And um, uh, at the moment, I have 40 cards in this deck. 
and we can see them here cards so these are all the cards that are stored in this deck and here you can see the English translation of the words here you can see how well you've done at remembering a particular word like for instance this one was red so last time I practiced I didn't know I couldn't remember what the, this was begin so I can check it here okay begin Japa down okay and here I've also written the the Kimai script okay and um, to study you can as you can have it on your phone you can take it with you and you can study when on your way to work you know going on the bus or the train or wherever and uh, and to practice you would go to this page and and then you just press review and here it shows you the English well shows whatever you wrote here I guess so I, I wrote the English word here and here is the Swedish word I'm native Swedish speaker so I, I'd like to have it in Swedish as well and uh, if I know this word um, I would think I'll oh, rent what's that in Khmer it's jewel jewel I think so I wasn't totally sure there so I'd flip it over ah I was right it's jewel uh, and I remember this mostly because I, I know it sounds a bit like jewel like the gem jewel uh, in English uh, don't know why I, <laughs> I guess it was my teacher who who told me that it's that's how you pronounce it and that's how I remember it so rent is jewel and as I got it fairly quickly I'd press good if I got it straight away I'd press easy and if I really had to think hard on what the word was I'd press hard now, and if I, it didn't get it at all, I would press fail. Uh, go in, enter is John. John, yeah, you see. Experience to have ever done something. Clue up, clue up. Yeah, see. Want Jung. Jung, Jung, Terpsa. Sleep, Gang, Gang, Jung, Jung. Oh, more slang, deck. So I didn't get that. So fail, come mock, but you can say gang as well for sleep. Come, come is mock, mock, and the um, the um, colon here I added for to signify that this is a long sound. So it's mock, not mock, mock. That's easy. Walk, dow, dow easy that was it so uh, I, I I went it in the um, settings here because you've got settings that every session should be every uh, trial session should be 10 cards you can change that if you want to make it more difficult okay that was fun let's let's do another one uh, so that was the verbs. Let's do uh, let's do um, let's do adjectives. Okay, let's do nouns. Let's see skirt. Uh, oh, I can't remember. Hmm. Some bot, some bot. So that was a fail. Clothes, uh, cow ow, cow ow. You see, fish tray, yeah, tray family, 
Cruza, Cruza, Easy, Movement, Movie Play, Play, some jam movie play, please wait a moment, yeah, fairly easy, good. Place is Conlian, Conlian, Easy, Orange, Play, Cruic, oh, Tech Cruic, yeah, orange juice, Tech Cruic, so I forgot that one. Trousers, mm. oh, what's trousers? Cow, uh, I'm trying to practice for a bit. Jacket, Aurongia, Aurongia, Fail, T shirt, Au you. So this is just my score. I'm not very good that one. Uh, so let's see. Let's do one more. Uh, it takes a while for these to load. Let's see. This one is good. Small useful words. Let's see. I like this one. About Ambi Ambi Ever since Tangbi Tangbi Always Tang Tai Tang Tai Tang Tai There um, Tinu you know, yeah, that, I have some hesitation there. Fairly good. Once a week, muy muy sabado muy sabado muy sabado One week time, literally muy sabado I think you can say muy medong sabado as well, but this is the usual way I think. Muy sabado Next time, Pel Graui. You see? After Graui. Who's Robos Nekna? Roba. Robos Nekna. Yeah, didn't pronounce it very well. Behind Kangraui. Kangraui. Yeah. So there is. Which means Dutchne Dutchne. Okay, so you see, um, <laughs> you see, I need some practice. So, um, well, this is it. And uh, another cool thing with this is that you can share uh, share your decks with uh, friends or whoever and you just press share and then you can the, it will uh, give the person you, you send it to uh, uh, will get an email uh, there supported anki flash card has just been has just been shared and then I can download the app or whatever and I can see and I can practice with that so if any of you guys would like to um, to have the uh, decks that are created you can just uh, uh, send me an email and I will I will send you a few of uh, the decks that I have here let's see so I made quite a few course it's possible as well to download yourself from the internet but I haven't found any really good ones I mean there are a lot of decks in Khmer and, uh, but usually they don't have the Khmer script and I think that's uh, really a shame because uh, how do you know that your 
pronouncing it right. I mean, it's difficult enough as it is to know how to pronounce things, but without the script, it's it's almost impossible. So um, I've tried to um, do that for it, all the words that I've put in here. So like this one we just practiced. Chennai pig, too far. Chennai pig. I always put in the Khmer script. Yeah, so that was the Anki up. Great way to uh, to practice uh, uh, your Khmer anywhere. You know, it's good to have a little bit of practice every day. Otherwise, it's uh, too much of a, an effort to start again if you've had a, a bit of a <clears throat> break from it. You know, just keep it keep it fresh in your mind. That's my advice if you're really serious about learning a language. Okay, so writing texts in Khmer not very easy. I I searched the internet and I couldn't find any instructions of how to do it. Maybe it's very easy for native people who, who know the Khmer script from school, but for me it was difficult. So I'd like to share with you my findings. Okay, so say you want to write a text to someone. You write the text in here. Say, for instance, you want to say, I am at home, Knom Knom Ptea, which literally means I am in home. So you'd start with Knom, k, that's Ka, Ka, and then Nyo. Oh, that doesn't look right, does it? And then, yeah, that didn't look right at all, did it? No, because it should be the subscript uh, underneath the K there. So what do you do? I looked everywhere and finally I found out that pressing the space there in some uh, keywords, like in, on Google, you have a plus, a little plus sign, like a little character like that with the plus. And then you press that to do the same thing, to enter the subscript consonant. So after the K here, I'd go Nyo. Now you see, it looks better, doesn't it? Nyo, Knyo, Knyo. And then you need the and then the om. Hmm? So there you have it, knyom. You can also you can do it like this as well, knyom. They have them at the same time, knyom. Uh, so knyom, <coughs> knyom, but there. So that's ka. And then the N, uh, what is this? the N, there's the N. Oh, doesn't look right. Knong, it should be like this. Knong. And the Ngo, Ngo. Ah, so now you've written Knong, Knong, and then Petea is there it is oh sorry that's the wrong one there that's the and then t this is really small isn't it guys i'm gonna see this so anyway it's the T 
and then ah there maybe like this yeah it's better but there gnome gnome but there and then <clears throat> send it mm, let's try again and um, use the Anki app instead uh, because the text was so small there so you probably couldn't see what I was doing so let's say uh, I want to write I'm let's let's choose a deck that we're could actually make sense to keep this in. Okay, where are you going this more? Yeah, seems like you. So you press new. So now I can show you how to to write a new flashcard as well. Maybe that's useful. Um, so here I could first increase the script, the font. And for some reason, you have to press enter to get the new size just enter so so what else could you perhaps write in a text what about I'm on my way that's fairly useful isn't it so let's write that in English change back into English I'm on my way in Swedish I'm on my way jag är på väg my knum no tam plow. Fairly good. So first how you would write it using Swedish or well this could be in English as well. Knum Knum No and here I usually use this one no because it's a it's not a no, it's not gnom no, no, gnom no, tamplo, it's gnom no, no, it's a different vowel, no, and then two dots, if you know German, it's the same in German, gnom no, tamplo, and of course, like always, the ends of the words is a bit muffled, so it's not plov, it's plo, plo. No, no, Tom Plow. So this this V is fit. it's nearly silent, but I like to keep it there because then you don't forget how to spell it. So change to Kamai. So let's write Knom again. Knom. I think in most other programs I've seen you can use this one but it doesn't seem to work here because it's really this vowel is really a combination of the om and o but it doesn't seem to work here so I, I'm using this um, which looks the same I mean can you no, no is the end. No, and then then we have the uh, we have this one. So you notice the vowel is now placed before the consonant and after. And these together make the O sound that comes after the end. So you you read this knom, and then you start with this sound no no knom no, and then tam is tam, and this a tam, no it's the m tam, plow. And then we need a P, a plow, and now we have the two consonants in a row. So we need the subscript, plow, and the L, and then we need a vowel, this one, 
ink so they they that one should be underneath really when you write it but on the computer and in, in the mobile phone they they don't they don't have three lines for one line so it's just underneath and then we have the v sound v nom no tam plo i'm on the way useful and then we save that. So, should we do another one? Let's try another one a bit more difficult. Now we're going to write, I want you to go to the market. You can explain some fascinating uh, structure of Khmer or feature of the Khmer language. That you might not know about. And let's do this in Khmer. In Khmer, you would say, Knum Jang Aoi Bong the Psa. And in the Khmer script, let, oh, first I'd, I'd like to explain this. This means, I want give you go market. So that's how you would say something like, I want you to do something. Knom Jang Aoi Bong I want to give you to go to the market, literally. Okay. Useful to go to know. And um, and I say in Kimai. Knom again, we know this by now. Knom and Knyom and then oh Knyom Jung Jung no sorry the wrong one Jung Jung Aoi Aoi that's a bit difficult that's a special vowel character when it when a letter starts with a vowel then you have to find them here. The special, uh, these are the uh, independent vowels. Uh, all the others, I mean, these are dependent vowels as well. You can see that they have a little circle where the consonant should be. But these have, mm, these doesn't have the little circle for the consonant. So these are the dependent, independent vowels. And that's how you find them here. Here is the, uh, the more usual letters with the dependent vowels. Uh, and then you have some more here. And then when you want to find the independent vowels, you press there. Here you have some other uh, special diacritics i think they're called uh, which uh, change the the um, pronunciation so there we have the awi and then we need the um, uh, let's see it's here i think yeah there is that one so now we have the awi and then Bone, so to B, and then no, no, and then so now we've written Knom Jang Aoi Bong Tao. Uh, that would be mm, up here. The T sound, and then the O Tao is here, Tao, and then. Psa. Here we have the P and then the S, which is the subscript S, so we must press the spacebar and then the S uh, there, so that's a Psa and then the A, Psa, and then uh, like many old letters that. And with it, an R that isn't pronounced, 
So really, this is bizarre. I I heard somewhere that a long time ago this letter was pronounced. So it was the mar market was bizarre, bizarre, but it's fallen. It's become silent. So it's bizarre. Kyomjang aoi bong I want you to go to the market. Could be useful. Uh, okay, so we say this. I want you to go to the market. Kyomjang aoi bong Okay, the last one. Also a bit of a strange one if you. Uh, if you read it literally, and this time we're writing, I slept well. And in Kemai, Gnom Geng Luok Srul, so the colon is there, Gnom Geng Luok Srul. <laughs> and this is the uh, Quite a funny one, I think. This literally means I sleep sell easy. So if you sleep well in Cambodia, you're selling easy. Sleep is an easy sell, in other words. Could be nice to know, right? If someone is talking about selling in their sleep, you know that it has nothing to do with selling sleep it's like it's just that they slept well or didn't i didn't sleep well and in Khmer Kinyom again we're a bit uh, ego fixated this time but never mind we can make some more videos so and gang is go and we have the so I write the go first and then the the, the vowel which is in front gang and then go character gang so I've written knom gang luak is L Lua. and that's a short sound so we need this little apostrophe uh, Luak is no sorry King Luak this is Luak which is written and now Sruel uh, is S and then R has the subscript through and we need the U through and that's the L Knom Gang Luak Knom Gang Luak Srul. I slept well. Okay, that's all for now. Um, I said I was going to show you some TV series that I really like. Um, so this is the TV series called Smart Girls. And uh, it's kind of funny. I mean, The acting isn't brilliant, perhaps, but it's cute, and uh, it's a good way to uh, practice your Khmer. I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I
cái cứ chụp mình được khổ thế này này. So another one I really like is uh, air waves, and uh, you can check it out on this channel KMF Cambodia, and uh, it's about a radio station in Phnom Penh. Of course, it's good that it's subtitled in English, so you you can get um, you can follow in the action and and. And it's all out here in uh, on YouTube, so it makes it easy as well. ສໍາລັບຕາເດຈະອາເມລິສໍາໄລໃຫ້ຄົນນີ້ມາໄປຝອນອ້າຍຍັງມັນຕອນສອມນັ້ນ <laughs> Okay, thanks guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, you know subscribe to the channel that'd be nice too um, and if you'd like to support this channel there are some ways uh, that you can do that below and um, and it's I know it's been a while since <coughs> the last video came out so uh, I'm sorry about that I've got some new ideas now and um, I think uh, I'm going to be posting some um, some uh, some more videos shortly uh, no promises though, but uh, I hope so because uh, it's uh, uh, it's great fun to do this, and uh, I'd really, you know, um, like uh, like for this channel to be sort of a gateway between Sweden and Cambodia. Okay, so thanks for now and thanks for watching. See you guys.